Okay, great. We're going to start now. Okay, we're going to sit comfortably. Let's sit on the block or on folded blanket. Or if you feel it's okay for you to sit on the floor, that's also good to grab a little cushion from the sofa. Okay, so let's start our Easter yoga. We're going to sit comfortably and we take easy few deep breaths. Just sit tall, lengthen, take your shoulders back and just check your neck, take your ears back to elongate your neck. Relax your neck, lengthen, and if you wish to close your eyes, close your eyes, bring your attention inwards, and take a few deep breaths. Inhale and deep. Exhale fully, and as, as you exhale, draw your tummy muscles in. And again, inhale and expand and soften. And as you exhale, draw your tummy muscles in. Exhale fully. And we do a few breaths. Expanding on the inhalation. And as you exhale, keep your sternum and your clavicle bones lifted. And so on. Inhale and expand. Exhale, keep your sternum lifted. Engage your tummy muscles as you exhale. And if you wish to place your hands, you can place your hands like so. One hand on your tummy one hand on your upper upper chest this is where your sternum is maybe even touching your clavicle bones inhale into your tummy and soften expand your chest and as you exhale exhale from your tummy exhale 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 and your clavicle bones are still lifted we want to say that sense of fullness sense of expansion we create on the inhale Again, inhale and expand. Exhale, contract your tummy muscles. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And your clavicle bones, your sternum still lifted. Breath, easy, flowing, enjoyable. And we try to keep a deep breath through the whole practice. Take another deep breath before you open your eyes. And when you're ready, then open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs, and come on your all fours. Move the block to the side. We'll need that block later. Okay. And come on your all fours. And we start our usual warm up with the cut and the cow straight. So let's stretch and lengthen through the sides, sides long, and then exhale, soften and melt between the shoulder blades. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale next, chin to your chest and round. Inhale, abdomen down, lift your heart, look upwards. And again, exhale and round. Inhale, abdomen down, lift your chest. Great, continue. Nice and easy movement. And let's just observe how you feel today in the morning. Where do you need a little bit more stretch? Somewhere you need a little bit more strength or flexibility or just more energy. Because your whole spine doing today in the morning. Very good, and then make your last round. And when you finish your last round, just bring your back parallel to the floor in neutral position. Then take your knees slightly back away from the hips and come up to down facing dog. Inhale, lift your sitting bones high. You're going to sport walk a few times, make your right knee, then the left. A few times of this sport walk, in nice straight from the back of the legs. We start to warm up. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little deeper into the upper back. Enjoy the stretch and then inhale, come up high on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards your hands into your forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips feet apart, 
Or take your feet a little wider and then squeeze the legs. Keep your legs very strong and steady. Take your hands to the hips. It's okay to bend your knees if you need to. Lift your elbows and your shoulders. Lift your chin and come up with the strong legs. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your legs and then come up. Exhale, relax your arms and just let you relax the shoulders, roll the shoulders. Move your head gently from side to side. Relax your neck. And then come a little closer to the front of your mat if you're using your yoga mat. Give a good salutation to the sun. So just make sure you have space behind you to step into the lunges. Okay. Space between your feet. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Lift your sternum. Keep your heart lifted. Exhale. Relax your arms. Inhale. Very gentle back bend or just stretch out. And as you exhale forward bend, bend your knees if you need. Touch the floor or your shins. Inhale on your finger button stretch. And as you exhale, squeeze the legs and bow. And we do it again. Inhale on your finger button stretch forward. Exhale, squeeze your legs and bow a little deeper. Again, inhale. Lovely stretch. Exhale, squeeze your legs, bow even deeper. And now bend your knees and move your hands by the side of your heels, right foot back, high leg lunge. If you feel this is too much for today, bring your back knee down. In any variation, we're going to squeeze the legs towards the midline, lengthen the tailbone, lift your chest, and take a deep breath, expansive deep breath. And then exhale and step back into the plank or half plank. Plank your straight legs, half plank with the knees down, take it easy if you need. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, lengthen the tailbone towards your heels, inhale. And as you exhale, knees elbows, or maybe just lean forward and then bend your elbows, lie down, check your shoulders. Shoulders still lifted, lengthen the tailbone, come up to raise cobra. Doesn't matter how far, soften your buttocks. Shoulders door away from your ears. Put the double chin, look straight. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch, lengthen, lengthen forward. Shoulders still lifted. Toes under, down facing dog. Inhale and lift. Lengthen through your spine, then push the thigh bones back, heels down. And just check that you're not pressing your wrists into the floor. If you look at your hands, imagine your hands like a tiger pose and you want to claw the floor with your finger pads. Push the thigh bones back. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes, look between your hands, right leg up. Step forward, big step forward. Help with your hand if you're stuck somewhere between. Check your knee above your ankle, lift your heart, take a deep breath. Check your back leg, very strong. You inhale, and as you exhale, tummy in, and step forward into your forward bend. Engage your legs, press down with your feet and come up. Inhale and lift, salute to the sun. Exhale, hands to your heart with the left side. Just check your back to the front of the mat, and there's a space behind you. Inhale. Exhale, inhale and stretch. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs, squeeze, 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 touch the floor. Inhale, your finger pads and lengthen. Exhale, bow, hands by the side of your heels, left foot back, high leg lunge, take a deep breath. Inhale into your chest. Exhale, step back into the plank or half plank. Strong arms, can you squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, lift your tummy muscles up. And think about your tailbone moving towards your heels so that you have very strong tummy muscles. Inhale. And as you exhale, knees, elbows, or lean forward, bend your elbows, point your toes back, and come up slow to raise cobra, lengthening the tailbone, moving shoulders down, the double chin, maybe lift your chin a little now. Inhale. Exhale, drag your hands back and slide forward like you're trying to slide forward. But that's the direction, lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Toes under, down facing dog. Deep breath. Extend and lengthen. Press all finger parts into the floor. Four corners of the hands. And if you engage your tummy muscles, you have a little bit more support for your lower back. And more energy to push the thigh bones back. On your next inhale. Come up on your tiptoes, look between your hands, left leg up. Step forward, big step forward. Again, help with your hand if you need. 
Take a deep breath into your chest. Indeed, your tummy muscles, and then step into your forward bend. Forward bend. Squeeze the legs. Press down with your feet and come up. Inhale. Salute to the sun. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and stretch. Exhale. Forward bend. Strong legs. Touch the floor or your shins. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, bar. Hands by the side of your heels. Right foot back. High leg lunge. Take a deep breath. We're going to the twist. Just bring more energy to the spine. Look at your right hand. Finger parts beneath your shoulder. Squeeze the legs. Lengthen the tailbone and lifting your left arm up. Look to the side or maybe even look up at your left arm. And I want you to keep your back leg very strong. Press your toes into the floor. Thinking about the inner seam of your right leg, the back leg lifting. Squeeze the hips and extend away from the hips. Deep breath. Exhale. Look down. Touch the floor. We're going to change. If you feel lots of energy and this is appropriate, maybe jump switch, maybe not. Maybe step back, step forward. And let's check your front knee above your front ankle. Squeeze the legs. Lengthen the tailbone. Inhale, right arm, look to the side. Or look up at your right arm. Take your shoulders back, open your chest. Breathe deeply. That's it. Well done, everyone. I can see you on my screen. Deep breath in. Exhale, look down, touch the floor. Let's step back to down facing dog. It's nice to stretch and realign the spine. After the twist, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Engage your tummy muscles and push the thigh bones back a little bit more. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, plank or half plank, choose your option. Squeeze your arms, lift your tummy muscles, inhale. And as you exhale, knees, elbows, or just lean forward, bend your elbows. Come up slow to raise cobra. Press your whole legs into the floor. Lengthen the tailbone and come up. Moving shoulders down, doing double chin, lift your chin a little, inhale. Exhale, drop your hands back, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen forward. Toes under, down facing dog, inhale, and lift. Have a good stretch. Enjoy the stretch. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, bring your knees down to the floor. We do a little bit more stretch for the hips. Look at your right hand. Let's bring the right hand beneath your face and you step forward with your right foot outside of your right hand. And let's take back and your back with ease as far as you can. And maybe this is just enough. You can stop here. Or maybe moving your hands 45 degrees to the left. So this is going to be options, variations for the lizard pose. So if you feel okay, this is just enough, that's fine. You lift your tummy muscles, soften between your shoulder blades, and stay here, enjoy the stretch. Press your back foot into the floor a little stronger. If you're happy to take your hands wider than the shoulders, go for it. Lift your elbows, draw your arms back into your shoulder joints. And check, can you straighten your back leg? Maybe you can, but don't worry. You don't have to. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades at the back, lengthening through the sides from the hips to your armpits. Just give yourself a little bit more space, length. Tummy muscles engaged. We want to support the lower back. Deep breath. And then inhale. Lift your chin, move your hands back on your mat. And you're going to step back to down facing dog. Step back, squat walk a few times, loosen up the legs, maybe move the hips from side to side. Nice and gentle movements. We start to move more energy around the hips. We change direction, inhale, on your tiptoes, bring your knees down to the floor. Now look at your hands. Now left hand goes beneath your face. And you're going to step forward with your left foot, left foot forward. Right knee back, just moving that knee back as far as you can, and maybe this is enough. Enjoy the stretch, or maybe you can move your hands to the side, to the right, about 45 degrees to the right, and okay, soften between the shoulder blades. And maybe this is just enough. 
Press your back foot into the floor a little stronger, so strong that the knee is light. Or take your hands wider. Take it slower. Lengthen through the sides. Soften between the shoulder blades. Lift your back knee off the floor if that's okay. Just check with your body how you feel. And try not to lean to your hands much. Engage your tummy muscles and lift the hips a little bit more. Okay, the hands light on the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades, relax your neck, breathe. Tummy muscles lifted, so it's super stretch for your hips here. Well done, everyone. And then inhale, lift your chin, move your hands back on your mat, and step back, down facing dog. And again, sport walk, sport walk, and loosen up the hips, maybe again, move the hips from side to side. So that was a lovely stretch for the hips. Feel more energy. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees, and either walking or do bunny hop forward into your forward bend. Squeeze the legs. Press down with your feet and come up. Inhale and lift. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath. Restore your breath and watch me for a moment. We do this lovely triangular pose. I have yoga bricks with me. So if you have yoga bricks or blocks and you might need to use it. So watch me, this is a demonstration. We're going to step back with one foot, one foot back. So this stands like we do usually warrior two pose. Your front heel in line with the middle of your back instead. And if your hamstrings very tight, block or brick, very, very useful. So you're going to place it here. You're going to start. This is demonstration, watch me, and then we do it together. Okay, we're going to do this. Realigning the hips, parallel to the long side of your mat, lengthening, and then when you fold forward, you're going to keep moving the hips back. You want this length. Lengthen, 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 and then maybe you need to hold the brick. So this is yoga brick. Or maybe the yoga block. Or if you don't need it, maybe you can just touch the floor with your finger pads. I'm going to move the hips back a little more, then I'm going to open and stretch my toe bum and maybe even look up. For more advanced options, if this is easy, maybe move your hand closer or maybe behind that leg and go for a little bit more advanced variation. This is a little twist. If your lower back is not clear, I suggest to stay in this variation or maybe here with the brick. You have more space for your back. And when you finish, you look down. What we do, we bend knee. We're going to lose that block, step back, have a good stretch, and then change sides. Okay, so let's try that. So if you have a block or the brick, and you would like to use it, it's quite nice to start on the block. Okay, and let's step back. I do it this side. Step back with your right foot. Right foot back, big step. And you check that your front heel in line with the middle of your back instead. Your block goes next to your front foot. Okay. And then take your hands to the hips and realign the hips parallel to the long side of your mat. Okay. Engage your legs, squeeze the legs. Squeeze the hips towards the middle of the pelvis. Lengthen through the sides. Keep your legs steady and fold and fold over your front leg. With your hands, can you move the hips back a little bit more? into the space behind you, look down, grab the block, if you're using the block, okay. or maybe place your hand just on the floor, beneath your shoulder, okay. and push the hips back a little more. You want this length through the both sides, open your chest, look to the sides, and then maybe even stretch your right arm, and look up at your right thumb. Try to open the chest, open the shoulders, deep breath, Remember about your deep, expansive breath. Breathe. Press your both feet into the floor. Lift your heart, lift your chest. And maybe it's easier to easy. Then, then you take your hands at the back of the leg for more advanced posture, okay, for more intensity, but please do listen to your body. Extend and lengthen, deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, look down, bend your front knee, loose the block, touch the floor, step back to down facing dog. Let's have a good stretch. <laughs> Lovely to stretch between sides. Lifting the sitting bones high, thigh bones back, 
Kiyo-san. Enjoy the stretch. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees, walking. And we're going to come up slower. Bend your knees if you need, take your hands to the hips, lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, squeeze the legs and come up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. We're going to change sides. Okay. With the block perhaps, stepping back with the left, big step. Here the block goes next to your right, next to your right foot. Okay, inhale, lengthen. We're going to keep that length. Squeeze the legs and fall towards above that front leg. Okay, and with your hips, keep moving the hips back and back and back. And then again, maybe holding the block mm -hmm. or the floor. Let's choose from option. Check how you feel. Still moving the hips back. Lengthening through the sides, both sides. Shoulders back. Look to the side and maybe stretch your right arm up and look up, deep breath. And let's again check the core muscles. Squeeze your tummy muscles in, push the hips back. Keep your core muscles engaged. Enjoy the breath, enjoy the stretch. Maybe taking that right hand behind your right foot, but don't worry, you don't have to do everything. Breathing deeply, still moving the hips back. So you have that length, you have the space. Engage your core muscles. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down. Bend your front knee, touch the floor, and you're going to step back. Step back, down facing dog. Deep breath in down facing dog. Okay, have a good stretch, lengthen. Lengthen in through the whole spine, through the whole back of the body. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes, bend your knees, and please be seated comfortably. Maybe sit back on your heels or sit just on the floor with your legs in front and watch me for the next one. We do another standing posture, and this is, this is where you might need to use two breaks if you have them, but don't worry. I'll show you how to do it without breaks as well. So we're going to stretch it a little bit more, the back of the legs, the hamstrings. And this posture called nose to knee. So we're going to step back with one foot. Blocks now for the bricks. Go here by the side of your heel of the front foot. And beat the bricks, looks like that. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to push the hips back, going to fold forward, and you're going to hold them, hold these bricks or the blocks. If your hamstrings are very tight, this is very useful. And if your hamstrings are okay, and you can go lower and lower, maybe you can even hold the floor with your hands. So like so, your hands are going to be beneath the shoulders. Yeah. And if this is impossible, and you don't have support of the bricks, so what you do, you just bend your front knee. Front knee, and you're going to stay in this option. You're going to do extensions, lengthening on the inhale, softening between the shoulder blades, and bow over that front leg. And maybe carefully, carefully, you, this time you can straighten that front leg, but don't worry. So just keep extending. So this is what we want. We want the extension here, softening between the shoulder blades, and have a good stretch. Yeah, so let's try that. So if you're using blocks or bricks, okay, let's step back with one foot. Let's step back with the left. I'm already here. The blocks or bricks go here, just by the side of your heel, if you're using blocks. Take your hands to the hips and look straight ahead. Okay, that was my cuckoo clock. Let's squeeze the hips. The inhale. This is the length you want. Exhale with your right hand. Encourage your right hip to move back and keep lengthen forward. Lengthen, lengthen. That right hip still moving back. Okay. Touch the floor or the blocks or the bricks. And let's take one hand at the back and check out the hips. We want the hips level. So usually on this side, we need to move that back, uh, front hip, your right hip back, front hip forward to realign the hips. So we're going to keep them level. This is good for the lower back. Okay, and again, hold the blocks or the floor. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, soften between your shoulder blades and begin to bow over your front leg. Maybe you don't need the blocks at all. You just hold the floor. And again, inhale, lengthen, 
Exhale, bow over your front leg. Keep your neck long and soft. If you have to bend your front knee, that's also good. Don't worry, bend your knee. And so on. Breathing deeply on the inhale, lengthening. On the exhale, engaging the core muscles. And you want to bow over your front leg. Keep the length, keep the length. It's okay to bend your front knee to ease your hamstrings if it's too much. Squeeze the hips. And again, check with your core muscles, engage. Let's take another deep breath. Extending, lengthening. Softening between the shoulder blades and bar. Press your front heel into the floor stronger. This is where you create more intensity. Press your heel into the floor. Well done. And now bend your front knee. Hands on the floor. Step back to down, facing dog. Let's step back and then do the sport work. Loosen up. Okay, that was a great stretch. That was a great stretch for your hamstrings, for the hips. Well done. Inhale. On your tiptoe, a little bit in your hands, bending is either hopping or walking. Walk with your forward bend, perhaps, squeeze the legs, and then come up. Inhale, come up standing. We're going to change side. So now stepping back with the right, right foot back, right foot back, and again using, using the blocks by the side of the heel if you do them. Okay. Check that space between your hip, hip sweets apart. Check that space. Take your hands to the hips, inhale, lengthen, exhale, and you squeeze the hips and fold forward and fold and fold. Again, grab the blocks or hold the floor. So whatever is suitable on this side, you might feel a little bit different on this side. Okay, inhale, extend forward. Exhale, soften and melt between the shoulder blades. And so on, lengthening on the inhalation, softening, Hold the exhalation and we try to bow over that front leg. How's your lower back doing? Do you want to check? Do you want to check with one hand? The lower back is happy. The hips level. If you have to bend that front knee, that's also good. We then check, okay, how the hips doing? That's fine. They level, lower back is happy. Deep breath in and lengthen. Exhale, soften between the shoulder blades. Bow. Leg is soft and long. For more intensity, press that front heel into the floor a little stronger. So you have to do lots of stretch there, but please do listen to your body. You don't have to do everything. Enjoy the stretch. Deep breathing. Let's take another deep breath on this side. And then bend your front knee. Hands on the floor. Step back to down facing dog. And again, sport walk. Or maybe just stay there and enjoy the whole stretch through the body. That big stretch through the whole back of the body. Press all finger parts into the floor. Try to not stand on your wrists too much. Now you do use four corners of the hands, but try to avoid to stand on your wrists. On your next inhale. Come up on your tiptoes, bring your knees down to the floor, and you're going to sit into the child pose. Take your knees wide to the edges of your mat, big toes touching, and you want to sit back as far as you can, as far as you can. Look at your hands, walk your hands a little forward, lengthen, lengthen, and then rest your forehead on the floor. Deep breath. Maybe rest your elbows and completely soften. Deep breathing still. Push the hips back with the heels. Relax. We had a lovely stretch around the legs, the hips, the back. On your next inhale, lift your head, slide your hands to your knees, and sit on the floor with your legs in front. Let's just stretch legs in front. So, bricks are very useful. You might need them later. 
Okay, and if you have both words, the options. So a very quick demonstration. We all know this posture. Just quickly remind you. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to find that space, the length, shoulders back, neck is soft, and then you're going to find your balance. So maybe lifting two heels off the floor, or maybe just one. You can do with one leg, like so, one leg, one arm. This is nice and easy, easier option. Or maybe you can push your both feet forward, and then you play with your arms, one arm, two arms, or maybe even going lower, like so, looking at your feet, and then coming up. Okay, And then bend your knees and relax. We're going to do three rounds. So listen to your back. Okay, let's do that. Heels on the floor. Inhale and lengthen, back straight. Let's take your slightly back. You want your neck in line with your spine. Okay, squeeze the legs. Okay, lean back. Find your balance. Do, can you do two feet or would you just do one leg? That's fine, one leg is good. Okay, and then stretch one arm, perhaps. And then change if you do one leg. Keep changing if you do one leg. Okay, or maybe you're here with two legs and you do two arms. Listen to your body. Squeeze your tummy muscles in, very strong tummy muscles. Maybe go lower, looking at your feet. And then coming up, squeeze your feet stronger, and then come up. Inhale, lift. Hold your legs, and then relax. Let's do this relaxing moment. Tip the pelvis forward, lift your chest, and shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. Remember, you don't have to do everything. You just can do one leg. One leg is great. This is how we're gradually building the strength. Okay, let's do another round. Second round. Knees together, feet together. Look at your feet and you squeeze your feet and you squeeze your knees. Inhale and lengthen. Shoulders back. Relax your neck. Now think about your core muscles. Pelvic floor muscles up. Tummy muscles in. Keep it strong. Lean back. One leg or two legs. One leg is great. Yeah, push your feet forward, squeeze your legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. How's your core muscles? Still very tight. Okay, maybe one arm, maybe another arm. And you can keep changing one arm, another arm, or two arms. Or maybe you need to do one leg, that's fine. Keep changing one leg, another leg. One leg at a time is great. Okay, that's, that's it. Choose your option, or maybe just holding the legs. Or maybe going lower, looking at your feet. Can you squeeze the legs? Keep your tummy muscles tight. And then come up. Inhale, lift. Hold your legs and then relax. Okay, again, tip the pelvis forward, lean back. Okay, that sort of back bend. And relax your legs. Relax, relax, relax. And if you quadriceps, front of the thigh muscles screaming at you, just give them a little massage like that. Shake it, shake, 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 shake. Okay, sometimes they're very really tight. So give them a little massage, okay. Well then, we're going to do third round. For the third round, if you want to have something between your legs for more, um, for more intensity, you can try that. So for example, you can use the brick or the block between your inner thighs, or take a magazine, or take a book, or cushion from the sofa and squeeze between your inner thighs. So that gives you a little bit more intensity. This is where you have to really, this big effort to squeeze that block or squeeze something, the cushion, that's it, I can see on the screen. Okay, or the magazine or the book. Okay, let's try. Okay, listen to your back, please. We're going to create lots of length. Inhale, lengthen. Take your shoulders back, keep that length. Core muscles in, pelvic floor muscles, your abdomen muscles. And then lean back, find your balance. Squeeze that block, or just keep squeezing the legs. Okay, push your feet forward, or one leg. Do you do one leg? That's fine. I can see different options. Mm -hmm. Maybe one arm, maybe another arm, or maybe two arms. Keep breathing deeply. Remember that expansive breath. We need lots of oxygen. Maybe go lower, you don't have to. Keep breathing, and then come back. No rush. Squeeze the legs, squeeze, 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 squeeze that block or cushion between your thighs. Inhale, and as you exhale, support your legs, move that block to the side. 
and lie down on your back with your knees to your chest and we're going to rock and roll so rocking from side to side if you're not sure i'm doing it with you so if you want to have a look we're rocking from side to side and then with each hand on top of your knee we're going to do rolling movements clockwise direction a few times then anti-clockwise direction and feel this is lovely self-massage for the hips for the lower back it should feel nice and comfortable even pleasant just relaxing that was a good strong posture and we just want to loosen up a little how's the breath doing breath is easy flowing we need lots of oxygen well done everyone and then roll over to your right hand side come up to the seating yeah, and sit comfortably we do the twist so twist is great to ease the back up the strong postures and also to relax the nervous system so let's do right leg bend your right take your right foot outside of the left hug your knee and then inhale and lengthen check your back how's your back doing is your back upright or do you need to sit on some support for example maybe you need to sit on a block or on a cushion just to keep your back a little bit more long a little bit more upright so you want to keep that length okay i can sit on the floor so let's do this okay and maybe lean to the left left foot to the right so if that's appropriate and again checking how you feel right arm lengthen exhale opening to the right finger pads behind you deep breath on your next inhale left arm see if you can hook your elbow over the knee like that or you just have your leg a little closer okay and this is also good inhale and stretch exhale right shoulder back finger pads moving around a little bit deeper into the twist lift your chin take back of the hand back and so on inhale lengthening exhale engaging your core muscles and moving into the deeper twist and again inhale lengthening exhale tummy muscles engaged and opening that shoulder opening and moving and it doesn't matter how far you go just listen to your back listen to your body use your breath inhale stretch exhale tummy muscles engaged great then now come back come back to the middle just hug that front knee take a moment lengthen take your shoulders back take your head back relax your neck if you have both legs uh, crossed so maybe you can go anti-clockwise direction 360 degrees without moving your feet and then again sit on the floor or, or change the cross of your legs okay so how to change the cross of your legs so now you're going to bend your left take your left foot outside of your right leg and maybe this is enough or lean to the right right foot to the left and again sit sitting tall back is upright okay how's your lower back straight inhale left arm exhale opening take your finger pass behind you closer to the sacrum okay, and again take a moment maybe this is just enough or right arm stretch hook your elbow or hug your leg a little closer deep breath in and lengthen exhale left shoulder back again how's your neck doing relax your neck and so on deep breath in lengthening exhale tummy in opening into your twist and again inhale exhale keep breathing breathing deeply creating lots of length through your spine creating more space between the vertebrae relaxing the nervous system creating space for the muscles and also great twist great for the digestive system massaging one side of the abdomen and then another side of the abdomen another deep breath and then come back come back to the middle hug your knee and again lengthen to the sides shoulders back 
your ears back, relax your neck, just soften and relax. And then stretch your legs to the front and give your legs a little shake. Okay, well done, that was a great twist. Again, I'm going to sit now for the breathing exercise. So I would like you to sit comfortably. Again, maybe find a block or the brick and sit on it. Okay. So we practiced Kapalabhati last night. Kapalabhati, it's, um, some people call it the fire breath. And why the fire breath? Because what we try to do with this breathing technique, we try to ignite the digestive fire. You might feel a little bit warm or even hot from inside. And this is, this is what we want. We want to boost the metabolism. We want to boost the energy and the immune system. Okay, so I'm going to show you first. So this is how it looks. We're going to do this little, uh, little preparation. Watch me first. This is going to be a very short in, out, in, out breath through my nostrils. And I'm going to use my abdominal wall to pump the breath. So what I do, I, as I exhale, I draw in, and as I inhale, I relax. So watch me. I'm just holding my finger here, but you don't need to hold your finger there. So this is just for me to show what is happening there. Okay, let's do that, just a five breath like that. Very short, in, out, through the nostrils. Okay, you can place your fingers there on your core muscles or on your tummy. And let's do that five. Okay, so I'm going to come to the, to the screen now. And if you have questions, please do ask me. I want everyone to make sure that it's clear. I'm going to unmute you. Unmute, yes. okay. okay. Anyone? Anyone? Questions? No? So it's, that was clear, yeah? In, out, uh, through the nostrils, okay, using your tummy muscles. So if you come to my classes regularly, you already know this technique very well. Yeah, I'm going to mute you all again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and we're going to continue. We're going to do more numbers now. So more numbers. So let's do 10, let's sit in tall, and you can hold your fingers there. Okay, and let's start. And then relax. After 10 rounds, just relax. Okay, so just one precaution. If you feel a little bit lightheaded, so that means that you do too many repetitions. So if 10 was too much for you, go to five. Just stay with the five. Okay, if 10 was okay, head is fine. Okay, we're going to do 15 now. So let's do 15. Again, sitting tall and 15 pumps. And then relax. How was it? Show me thumbs up if that's okay. <laughs> okay, good. So if it's too many repetitions, go to 10 if you feel a little bit more lightheaded. So what happens, we, we try to bring more oxygen into the blood stream, so you might feel a little bit lightheaded. Okay, so if it's okay, we're going to go to 20 now. So take and tall, and we do 20 pounds. And then relax. How's everyone doing? Show me the thumbs up. Are you okay? Okay, good. All right, great. We're going to repeat. Oh, well. uh, Rosemary, you okay? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, I'll come to you. Okay, just wait a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a moment. I'm going to unmute Rosemary. Rosemary, are you okay? I had to go slower because I got lightheaded. Like yes, slower is good. Slowly. Absolutely. Very good. Slower is good, guys. Okay. Okay. So we're going to repeat twice more, if that's all right. So we're going to do another 20 and another 20. So if that's okay with your body, just listen to your body. Okay, sitting tall. 
And you can close your eyes. Another 20. Okay. Yeah, everyone okay? Show me thumbs up. Everyone okay? <laughs> right, so good. So for the last round, we're going to do another 20. And at the end of those 20, we're going to make the fists. And we're going to place the fists into the groins. So this is a little bit challenging. The next step is a little bit challenging. So what you're going to do, after 20 pumps, inhale and you're going to stop breathing. Then you're going to forward bend and you're going to try to reach the floor with your forehead, but don't worry if it's not happening. So you might feel it's okay for you here, or you might feel, okay, I need a break to rest my, for my forehead, or maybe this way, to rest here, or maybe, okay, I'm not going down at all, I'm just going to bring chin to my chest and I'm going to hold the breath. And when you feel, okay, I have to exhale now, you're going to lift your chin or you're going to come up, exhale and relax. So that really gives you most of the energy. That feels a little bit more warmer and cold inside. So let's, let's try that. Okay, so we're going to do 20 pumps, fists into the groins, lean forward and hold the breath. Okay, let's do it together. Actually, I'm not going to do it together. I'm going to guide you to that. Okay, we're going to do 20 pumps. Okay, inhale, stretch. 20. And after 20 pounds, make a fist. Inhale fully. Then lean forward. Rest your forehead on the floor or on the block. Or just chin to your chest and don't breathe now. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Don't breathe, hold the pause, hold the pause, hold the pause, hold the pause. When you're desperate to exhale, then you're going to lift your chin and slowly come up and then exhale. Okay, take your time, take your time, take your time. Okay, I'm coming closer to you. Okay, take your time, take your time. Okay, I can see some of you holding pause. When you're desperate to exhale, then you lift your chin, come up. Okay, we're all different, don't worry. Okay, I'm going to unmute you. Ask me questions. Do you, are you okay, everyone? Yeah, good, thumbs up, great. Okay, so feeling a little bit warmer. <laughs> Maybe even sweating, sweating is good. <laughs> we have to sweat 20 minutes a day to keep our hearts working very well. Thank you. Uh, great. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, with relaxation next. But please do feel free to write me a message if you're not sure about this uh, Kapalabhati techniques, about this breathing exercise. Okay. All right, so what, what we do now? Now we're going to relax. So, so lie down where you are. Make sure that you're warm and comfortable. Cover yourself with the blankets. With blankets, socks, jumpers, if you're in the garden, perhaps. Okay. And make sure you feel very comfortable, okay. warm. Okay. If you're not sure, we're going to relax like so. Okay. Relaxing on your yoga mat or on the floor with your arms away from your body and your feet wider than the hips. And then relax. Okay. okay, I'll come closer to you. Come closer to the screen. Okay. So you can hear me better. Okay. And you relax into your Shavasana. Let's check the posture. Checking the grounding points where your body touching the floor. Your feet wider than the hips. Press your hips into the floor. And restore that lumbar space. There is a space between your lower back and your yoga mat. And 
and then completely relax your legs. Just soften your legs, soften your feet, soften your buttocks, relax your abdomen, then check your shoulder blades flat on the floor, arms away from your body, palms facing upwards. Notice the back of the head nicely balanced on the floor. And if you're not sure, just roll your head from side to side, relax all neck muscles. Notice your breath, slow down, smile to relax your facial muscles. And leave the beginning of the smile on your face. Feel your forehead becoming wider and smoother. Relax your ears, the skin beneath your ears. And relax your breathing again. Slow down and just remind yourself that we can use the breath to relax both the body and mind. With each breath becoming softer and more relaxed. Finding your own way to the still, calm center of your being, to a place of wholeness, completeness and integrity. You might get thrown off center by life's challenges. And when you do, you find your way back again and again to that place of wholeness, completeness and integrity. From that place of calmness, we become more sensitive to how we feel and think. From that place of wholeness, we can realize that we can become the master of our emotions. And we can make choices to create the world around us, a better place. Again, come back to your breath. And I would like you to notice the four part breath. You have the inhalation, then you have natural pause, then the exhalation, and the still point at the end of your exhalation. And again, the inhalation, natural pause, the exhalation and the still point. And start to focus after each exhalation on that still point. So this is your focus, focusing on the still point at the end of each exhalation. Just take a moment and pause there on that still point. And now think about every inhalation, completely different, completely new, brand new, like a new beginning. After that still point, Every inhalation, completely different, brand new, like a new beginning. And what is that new beginning represents for you? Every inhalation, is brand new, like a new beginning.
Now, as your relaxation and meditation comes to the end, bring your awareness back to your surroundings, to the room or to the garden you are in. Bring awareness to your friends or family or pets next to you. And deepen your breath, extending inhalations, exhalations, reawakening the energy in your body. Then wiggle your toes, your fingers, start to make little movements. Slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body, and then stretch. Take your arms over your head on the floor, stretch to stretch, away from the waistline. Well done, and then bend your knees to your chest, hug your knees with your hands, and gently rock from side to side. And giving yourself again a lovely self massage for the back. That's lovely. Roll over to your right hand side. Then come up to the sitting and sit comfortably for a moment. Okay, with your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. And then inhale, lift and lengthen. Close your eyes and slightly lean back just to feel that strong support of your back muscles. Support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice, reflect your intention of the practice, notice how you feel, enjoy extra strength, flexibility, and clarity of mind. And traditionally, we finish class with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. Bow your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely day, everyone. Lots of love from me to you. Okay, I'm going to unmute you now and say a couple of words.